Okay, I'm gonna sneak one last video in today. This is Oliver Tree, Swing and a Miss. Very cool acoustic guitar uh, tone. So let's check it out, four chords. Okay, first thing, you have to add a capo, second fret here. Um, and then we're gonna do four easy chords and then we'll work on the picking pattern. So first chord, D major, very simple. It's gonna be two on the first string, three on the second string, two on the third string, open on the fourth string, okay? First chord, D major. Then we're gonna go to A minor which looks like this. So this is gonna be one on the second string, two on the third string, two on the fourth string, open on the fifth string, okay? Now we go to E minor. These are all kind of, par like you have to know these chords. Um, there's gonna be millions of songs that have these, so you have to practice them. E minor right here, it's gonna be second fret on the fourth string, second fret on the fifth string. You can play all the strings for this one, no problems there. And then the last chord is gonna be a G. He's kind of doing a partial G, so you only have to do third fret on the sixth string, and then your first finger here, fifth fret, or sorry, second fret on the fifth string. That makes it a G. Usually I add my two fingers here at the third fret on the first and second strings to make it kind of sound more full, but I don't think he's doing it because he's only picking the top four strings. So now that you got those chords, D major, A minor, E minor, and then G major, now we can work on the right hand. Okay, so he's got a couple different pink finger picking patterns. Um, so we'll practice each one by themselves. So that the first chord for the D major is gonna be like this. So fourth and first string, and then fourth string. It's like that. So you kind of keep your fourth finger going and you're gonna go pinch and then alternate with the second string, then alternate with the first string and back, okay? So pinch, alternate, alternate, like that. Okay? Then we go to the A minor and this one's a little bit easier. He goes bass, bass, and then high notes. So I'm doing it like this, fifth, fifth, and then I'm using these two fingers right here, and I'm plucking up on the second and the third strings. So first two chords again. Okay, now third chord, E minor here. You're gonna do sixth, sixth, and then second, third, sixth. Like that. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing when you get to the G. All four parts really slow. D chord to start. A minor, E minor, then G. Repeat. A little faster. Pretty easy. Um, let's see, this song is in the key of D. So if you're gonna do a blues scale, you can start it right here. Um, you can actually do this with or without the capo at this fret. So if you take the capo off, you'll be at the ninth fret. If you put the capo on, you'll be at the seventh fret up from the capo. Okay, so this goes like this. Um, I'm gonna take the capo off just so you have it. So the number goes like this. 9, 12, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12, 9, 12. Blue scale, very important for you to learn. This is technically minor pentatonic is the fancy term. If you add this note right here, that's the blues note, uh, or the blue note, so you can add that and it becomes your blue scale. So it sounds like this. 9, 12, 9, 10, 11, 9, 11, 9, 11, 9, 12, 9, 12. Get comfortable doing that and you can jam along with some Oliver Tree and a number of other videos that I've done. So hopefully this video helps. You can get started uh, doing your own loop and all sorts of fun stuff. Let me know down in the comments if there's any songs by Oliver Tree or other artists that you'd like me to cover. I've got a little bit more time this month so hopefully I can play catch up. I will see you guys soon. Hit subscribe so I can keep building the channel and uh, yeah.